Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, you will learn about glycolysis. At the end of this video, we are able to describe the metabolism of glycolysis in detail. Do we need energy? Definitely we need it. All living organisms need energy for their growth, reproduction, to maintain their structures as well as for responding to their environment. So where is this energy come from? Enormous energy come from the sun, which is our nearest star. Plants absorb and convert light energy from the sun into chemical energy stored in molecules during the process of photosynthesis. We all know photosynthesis is a process of converting light energy, carbon dioxide and water molecule into glucose. Animal consume plants and the food made from plants which is stored in our body. Further, metabolism breaks down the carbohydrates, lipids, proteins and nucleic acids to provide chemical energy for these processes. Cellular respiration is a metabolic pathway where glucose used to produce adenosine triphosphate ATP, an organic compound the body can use for energy also called as energy coin. One molecule of glucose can produce a net of 30 to 32 ATPs. Phases of cellular respiration, glycolysis, preparatory reaction, TCA cycle or Krebs cycle, electron transport chain ETC. The TCA cycle and oxidative phosphorylation require oxygen while glycolysis can occur in anaerobic condition that is without oxygen. Glycolysis. Glycolysis is a metabolic pathway was discovered by three German biochemists Gustav Emberden, Otto Meyerhoff and Jakob Karol Parnas in the early 19th century and is known as the Emberden mayor of Paranas or EMP pathway. The word glycolysis, glycis means sweet, lysis means splitting. Glycolysis is a process where glucose molecule is break down to form two molecules of pyruvate. Oxidation by removal of hydrogen releases enough energy to make two ATP. Requirements for the glycolysis process Glucose, 2 ATPs, 2 ADPs and 2 NAD+. NAD+, stands for nicotinamine adenine dinucleotide. Coenzyme, an essential pyridine nucleotide. A coenzyme is a small helper molecule. Main role of coenzyme is to activate enzymes, speed up chemical reactions, convert food into energy within the cell. NAD exists in NAD+, and NADH forms that is oxidized and reduced form. NAD plus takes an electron to form NADH facilitated by an enzyme dehydrogenase. Next we talk about paces. The process of glycolysis is divided into two paces. At first the preparatory phase with five different reactions. During this phase, the glucose molecule converted into glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate by reacting through different reactions. Two molecules of ATP are invested during this phase, whereas two newly synthesized molecules of ATP are also establishing at the end of preparatory phase. Next phase 2, the payoff phase, where glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate moves through five different biochemical reactions and converted into pyruvate. Production of ATPs as energy molecules is an important aspect of the payoff phase. The overall reaction of glycolysis which occurs in the cytoplasm. The glucose molecule is break down to form two molecules of pyruvate by 10 steps. Net reaction of glycolysis. Pyruvate is the end product of glycolysis. Total of 2 ATP is derived in the process as glucose plus 2 NAD plus plus 2 ADP plus 2 inorganic phosphate. And the products are 2 pyruvate plus 2 NADH plus 2 H plus plus 2 ATP and 2 water molecule. Sugar 
Here the, we are seeing the whole glycolysis process which undergo 10 steps. The step 1 phosphorylation, it, it is also called as exokinase reaction. Step 2 isomerization, step 3 second phosphorylation, step 4 cleavage, step 5 converse, conversion of DHAP that is dihydroxy acetone phosphate into GADP. GADP stands for glycerol ligate 3 phosphate. Step 6 oxidation, step 7 dephosphorylation, step 8 phosphate transfer, step 9 dehydration and the last step 10 transfer. Glucose uptake is mediated my, mainly by glucose transporter 2 that is GLUT2 or GLUT4. Step 1 Phosphorylation of glucose. This is the first step of preparatory phase by the action of enzyme exokinase. Glucose is converted into glucose 6-phosphate. In this step, a phosphate group is transferred from ATP to glucose forming glucose 6-phosphate. Exokinase requires Mg2 plus to catalyze the reaction. Step 2. Isomerization of glucose 6-phosphate. Where glucose 6-phosphate is isomerized into fructose 6-phosphate by the enzyme phosphoglucoisomerase. Isomers are molecules which have the same molecular formula but different in structure. Step 3. Phosphorylation of fructose 6-phosphate. In this step, another ATP molecule transfers a phosphate group to fructose 6-phosphate and converts fructose fructose 6-phosphate into fructose 1,6-bisphosphate by the involvement of the enzyme phosphofructokinase 1. Step 4. Cleavage of fructose 1,6-bisphosphate. The enzyme aldolase converts fructose 1,6-bisphosphate into glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate and dihydroxyacetone phosphate. Both are isomers of each other. Step 5. Isomerization of dihydroxyacetone phosphate. Triose phosphate isomerase is an enzyme which converts dihydroxyacetone phosphate into glycerol degate 3 phosphate. These act as a substrate in a successive steps for glycolysis. Step 6. Dehydrogenization of glycerol degate 3 phosphate, which undergoes two reactions. First reaction is the enzyme glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate dehydrogenase transfers one hydrogen molecule from glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate to nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide that is NAD plus to form NADH plus H plus. Second reaction is glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate dehydrogenase adds a phosphate to oxidize glyceraldehyde phosphate to form 1,3 bisphosphoglycerate. Step 7. Transfer of phosphate group from 1,3 bisphosphoglycerate. Phosphate is transferred from 1,3 bisphosphoglycerate to ADP to form ATP with the support of phosphoglycerokinase. Thus, two molecules of phosphoglycerate and ATP are gained at the end of this reaction. Step 8. Conversion of 3-phosphoglycerate to 2-phosphoglycerate. With the enzyme phosphoglyceromutase, the phosphate of both the phosphoglycerate molecules is relocated from the third to the second carbon to yield two molecules of 2-phosphoglycerate. Step 9. Dehydration of 2-phosphoglycerate. Enolase is an enzyme removes a water molecule from 2-phosphoglycerate to form phosphoenol pyruvate. Step 10. Transfer of phosphate group from phosphoenol pyruvate. A phosphate from phosphoenol pyruvate is transferred to ADP to form pyruvate and ATP by the action of pyruvate kinase. Two molecules of pyruvate and ATP are obtained as the end products. Net gain in glycolysis. In phase 1, minus 2 ATP consumed and 8 ATPs are produced in phase 2. That is, 1 ATP utilized during the conversion of glucose to glucose 6 phosphate and 1 ATP utilized 
during the conversion of fructose 6 phosphate to fructose 1 comma 6 bisphosphate during the conversion of 1 comma 3 diphosphoglycerate to 3 phosphoglycerate two atps released during the conversion of phosphoenol pyruvate to pyruvate two atp released in the entire process of glycolysis two nadph molecules are formed each nadh produces three atp molecules that mean six atp molecules in glycolysis are produced via nadph therefore the total atp molecule formed are 10 atp as two atp used up in the initial process that is in phase one the net gain is eight atp molecules now let us see the mnemonics for glycolysis at first we are going to talk about the mnemonic for the reactants the mnemonic is here gentle grandfather eats fresh fruits and go dining by picking pumpkins to prepare pizza so here we all know the reactants glucose stands for gentle glucose 6 phosphate stands for grandfather fructose 6 phosphate fresh and fruits fructose 1 6 bis phosphate go glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate dining dihydroxyacetone phosphate and by 1 comma 3 bis phosphoglycerate picking 3 phosphoglycerate pumpkins 2 phosphoglycerate prepare you can see prepare denotes pep pep it's, it stands for phosphoenol pyruvate prepare and pizza denotes pyruvate here are the mnemonic for enzymes he placed the puzzle and tried to get the plastic plate to eat pizza. He denotes exokinase, placed phosphofructoisomerase, puzzle phosphofructokinase and aldolase, tried triose phosphate isomerase, get glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate, plastic phosphoglycerokinase, plate phosphoglyceromutase, eat enolase and last pizza denotes pyruvate kinase. Summary Glycolysis or glycolytic pathway or embed and mayor of pa Paranas pathway takes place by 10 chemical reaction that break down the glucose molecule produces two molecules of pyruvate ATP, NADH and water. Process takes place in the cytoplasm of a cell and does not require oxygen. It occurs in both aerobic and anaerobic organisms. Further, pyruvate the end product of glycolysis which enter into the TCA cycle and oxidative phosphorylation to produce adenosine triphosphate, which we call it as energy coin. At last, thank you for watching this video. Feel free to subscribe.